It's time for another Azrak mirror board. Last time we did the Z790 PG Lightning, and this time we're doing the Z790 PG Lightning Wi-Fi, which might make you think that just having the word Wi-Fi at the end means that this is a similar board, but with Wi-Fi, but nope. Azrak went and made this the most confusing thing in the world, because just ASRock things. Because the C790 Lightning Wi-Fi has some pretty different specs, starting off with CPU power. Here we have a 16 plus 1 plus 1 VRM configuration, rated at a maximum of 50 amps. So that is a minor but noticeable improvement from the 14 plus 1 plus 1 configuration of the non-Wi-Fi. And with the two full 8 pins for CPU power, it's good enough that lets you know and will notice the difference. And it's gonna really only matter to you if you're a hardcore overclocker. But when it comes to PC expansion, that's where things get even more confusing. On the Wi-Fi model, here you have a primary PC Gen 5 slot, another 16x slot, actually Gen 4x4, and two Gen 3 1x slots, down from the three on the other ASRock motherboard. So you'd think that, okay, maybe they got rid of it to make more space for some M.2 storage or something, but nope, because this motherboard actually goes down to just three Gen 4 M.2 slots, down from four, but instead decides to increase its SATA capacity to six, which makes completely no sense at all, but don't worry, Sorry, we're just getting started. As always, the rear I.O. with ASRock is a weird mix. The remaining remains identical to last time. Once again, we have seven USB Type A ports, and once again, we have a single Gen 2 port, basically camouflaged in between all the 5 gigabit and 10 gigabit ones. You also have a 20 gigabit USB Type C port, which you find on pretty much most movables nowadays. A PS2 port as well, which I don't think many people will care about, but still, it looks cute, I guess. HDMI for integrated graphics, but no display port. 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E as standard, so it's not bring your own Wi-Fi like last time. And finally, you once again only get free audio jacks and no optical spit of option. Disappointing, but not as disappointing as the fact that it still runs of the old ALC A97 codec. So you're using up one of those PC 1X slots for a sound card or getting an external sound solution would be a good investment to try and get some better audio going in and out of your PC. So then, is this confusing model worth it? Well, here's the thing, despite adding Wi-Fi, it is actually $10 cheaper than the PG Lightning. So if every single penny matters to you, then, I mean, it's not the worst option in the world, and a link to it will be up in the iCards and down in the video description below, but there's also so many other fantastic budget into offerings to generation, so you may want to check out our full playlist to see exactly what perfectly matches whatever situation you're in. And whilst they're here, maybe also check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month Truly goes a long way, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, and Avronyak, Dev Panda, Balash Roka, another pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.